the Joe Rogan experience. This is another thing that's going on right now. This is the perfect storm, the convergence of all these different things that are happening at the same time, and one of them being the COVID lockdown. Yeah. Social media, the COVID lockdown, the polarization of our country with Trump, and then, you know, this this weird thing where everybody has to pretend that Biden isn't dying. <laughs> like, this is all happening together at the same time. Like, everyone has to pretend he's going to do a great job. I'm yeah. going to vote for him. We just need to get Trump out of office. Like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. can we freeze this? Yeah. Can we freeze this and rethink this? Do you it, guys have anybody else on deck? Not, no one. I mean, I guess Harris is on she's deck. She's wearing Timberlands. <laughs> I guess she's one of us. <laughs> I seriously love the tweet. Whoever it was, who was like, oh, found the undercover cop. <laughs> but like anyone who sees anyone wearing these in a club, this brand new is the undercover cop. <laughs> but Charlemagne, <laughs> party. Charlemagne on Instagram was like, you, you know, because they were saying that she's bringing back Timberlands. And he was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, he's a he's in New York. Like, dudes in New York have been wearing Timberlands forever. Yeah. They've been wearing them since the 80s. Yeah. Or whenever they started wearing them, they never stopped wearing them. <laughs> like, this, this, she's bringing back Timberlands? Yeah. That's like some guy saying, I'm bringing back Chucks. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing back Converse All-Stars. Fuck you, you are. Yeah. They never went away, man. You can't bring back something that never went away. And Timberlands, in New York especially, never went away. Yeah, you're you're not allowed to um to go back to Biden. You're not allowed to say that. You're problematic. <laughs> yeah, I'm a problem. But I've been getting canceled for that for I six said, months now. I said in that column, I said something like he may or may not be slipping into dementia. I mentioned about why I'm not voting. And then someone from the New York Times said that is a, a widely debunked conspiracy theory that he's slipping into dementia. And I said, okay, I said may or may not. And p can you post, like, c cite your source for where this has been debunked so that my, like, people reading this thread can see it? And this New York Times researcher, writer, says, well, I've seen him speaking, and that's just what I gather from. Like, you seeing something well, what do you, <laughs> isn't you're, you're a widely bad predator. debunking. A situation that's not you. Okay, so you see something and have a different opinion, and other people have a different opinion. That's not widely like. Oh well, I've seen it, and that's it. Could you imagine? Let's let's pretend that Kamala Harris was the Democratic nominee and Biden was a Republican. Could you imagine how savage? No, oh, yeah, they would no, be no. At, at attacking his mental incompetence. Yeah, no, no, that's actually a really interesting. Well, this is where the, experiment. This bizarre bias comes into play and this is where everybody's getting gaslit mm -hmm. because they're pretending that everything's okay because all they want to do is get trump out of office but in doing that you're exposing this very bizarre tendency that people have to comply and to go along with these lines of thinking and behaving and talking and i can't get into that man because that's cult shit yeah that's religious shit i mean that's where these things come from yeah. they come from everybody not saying what they really feel because there's an agreement that's been made. And yeah. everybody, you're going to be on the right team, aren't you? You're going to do the right thing. You're going to do the right thing, aren't you? Yeah, or we'll burn your fucking house down. So, some guy we offered me- We have to stop me, these fascists or we'll burn your house down. <laughs> some guy offered me an interview with someone who I probably could get an interview with him anyway. And he said, if you vote for Biden, I will get you this guy as an interview. Come on, we have to save the country. What? That was, that was a real message I got. I'm like, hey, bro. Like, I don't, Jamie's laughing. That's so. Uh, so yeah, that's just. Uh, I understand where you're going with it. It's like so crazy. Yeah, it's fucking insane. It's in, come on. We have to save the country. <laughs> Are you sure? What What about What about it? Do you want to save the country? What 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 part is going to save? What is it? What's going to happen? When I was on, I did one of uh, Brett's um, Unity campfires, and oh, did you? Yeah, and you know, I was asking. I, I was like, everyone is saying that the other side is the existential threat. And then Brett was kind of like, well, we need to come together because this, that is the existential threat. But everyone, yeah. but isn't that, I'm like, why is everyone on flight 93? <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> well, everyone's scared. Of course. But it's also, I, I guess maybe I have optimistic faith in America. Like, I don't really see how Trump or Biden, like, he, how can. I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't. I thing. hope that it what, either one of them can't destroy America in four years because that means America's already fucked. <sighs> yeah. Well, we're kind of fucked. 
<laughs> I don't like saying, I know my, my 16 year old nephew and all his friends listen and I don't want to give these children no hope for the future. They have hope for the future, but we're fucked. Do they? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, okay. listen, listen, we're what's not in the, the fucking the dark ages. No. The Mongols aren't coming over the hills with horses and flaming arrows this and shit. This is what I always say. We're, like, people are like, there's a civil war. I'm like, we're too, America's too fat for a civil war. <laughs> who's, who's fighting? What does that even look like? Episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience are now free on Spotify. That's right. They're free. From September 1st to December 1st, they're going to be available everywhere. But after December 1st, they will only be available on Spotify, but they will be free. That includes the video. The video will also be there. It'll also be free. That's all we're asking. Just go download Spotify. Much love. Bye-bye.